CCTV Camera World is proud to provide support for products purchased from our website. If you purchased your product from another vendor, please contact the vendor you purchased from for further assistance. This video, I'm going to show you how to use the Smart Player software to convert a raw DAV file that you've exported from your Avalonix Premium Series NVR or DVR and have on your computer or thumb drive. Here, I already have the Smart Player software installed, and I have my DAV file on my desktop that I've exported from my DVR or NVR. I also have the VLC Media Player software on my computer to open the converted file. You can also watch the file with the VLC Media Player. However, it may not be compatible on all of your devices, such as your iPhone, iPad, or Android. So you are gonna wanna convert it to a MP4 or AVI file format for those devices and to share with the authorities. So first, you need to open up Smart Player by double-clicking on it. If you need help downloading or installing the Smart Player software, be sure to watch our video on that or read the guide about how to use the Smart Player software to view recorded footage from your Avalonix Premium Series NVR or DVR. Like I mentioned, I already have the software installed, and I'm going to go ahead and click the Open File button in the center. I'm going to navigate to my desktop where my DAV file is. And then here is my DAV file. If your DAV file is on your flash drive, then you will need to go to this PC. And you'll notice it's a drop down menu, so make sure you have it dropped down. And then your flash drive will be listed here. And then you can click on it and then open the file. But once you've navigated to whatever folder that your DAV file is stored in, for example, it may be in another file if you've exported it using the camera monitoring software on your computer. Then you'll need to select the file and you can either double click on the file in this window or you can click to highlight it and then click the open button. It's going to import the file into the Smart Player software and then it will begin playing it automatically. Now to save resources on your computer and make sure that the transcoding or conversion is successful, you're going to want to go ahead and click the pause button to stop the playback. Next, to get to the transcode screen, you're going to need to click the toolbox icon at the bottom left hand side of the software. And then choose the transcode options. So I clicked on the toolbox and now I'm clicking on transcode and it's going to open up a new window for the conversion. Now, next, I need to choose my DAV file. If you have multiple DAV files that you want to convert, you would, of course, add them to the software and then they would be listed here and you would have to check the box for each one or click this to choose all of the files in the list. Now the default format is AVI, and AVI is relatively compatible with most computers out there. However, as I mentioned, the MP4 format is more ubiquitous or more universally compatible with devices like iPhones, iPads, or Android devices. So I'm gonna choose the MP4 format. Now the next step is to just click the Start Transcode button. Now, depending on how fast your computer is or how strong it is, and then the size of the DAV file you're converting, this conversion may take seconds as mine did, could take a couple of minutes, or if it's a really large file and you have a really slow computer, it could take maybe a few hours. But you'll note this file was only a minute and 24 seconds, only really 40 megabytes, and it took about a second or two for my computer, which is really strong, to convert this file. Now to find the file, you need to hover over the transcoded file section of the software. And if you hover over it, it's going to show you where this file is. So in order to find this file, I need to open a Windows Explorer and then go to this PC, choose my C drive, double click on the Smart Player folder, and then double click on the Movies folder. And here you'll see my converted file. Now if I wanted to preview this file, I would right click hover over it, open with, and you can watch it in Smart Player, but I'm going to go ahead and choose VLC Media Player. And VLC Media Player is a free media player that you can download for almost any type of computer, whether it's Mac, Windows, or Linux. So this file will open in the VLC Media Player. If your computer comes up with this menu, then you're just going to select VLC Media Player and choose Always. And then I'm going to exit out of VLC Media Player's privacy and network access policy. And I can now watch my file using VLC Media Player. 
Hopefully this video helps you convert your DAV file from your DVR and VR to a more compatible format. Thank you for watching. If you're watching on YouTube, don't forget to like, comment, and subscribe.